Greetings and welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Grateful to have you here. And let's get ready for summertime. Summertime, summertime, yeah. And it's time to get some things built up. Now I did a little research. Oh, I did some things a moment ago. I um my poor wife. I, I'm I'm definitely gonna be in trouble. I had her walk all the way here just to get to the house. And at the same time, I also kept her assigned to the farm shed job. So when the season changed, she was about to take that long walk back to the village. And I'm going, oh, oops. Yeah, I should probably change her job. So we've switched out our wife here to be now the donkey raiser, the um, animal breeder here. That way we can still continue to work on the farming skill that she's already getting higher up on. And... Also, not have her walk the entire distance, obviously, that'd be silly to do. We don't have any farmland here yet, so it's kind of pointless. Other than that, we still have our other two individuals working in this area, our woodshed gentleman, and I also got the other new person started on our workshop, the smithy, sorry, the smithy, that is. At the smithy, we're making nothing but bronze hammers. Did a little looking into the new tech to see what was the best thing to make. I will use the hammers, not all the time, they will use the hammers too, but cost per resource consideration, one bronze bar, a stick, for 310 to sell, that's good. The other one that was close was the bronze sickle, which is 320, which is only a log and a bronze bar, which right now we're getting logs like mad, which is great, but I use the logs more than I will the sticks. This came in last, bronze knife. I anticipated to be the best one because usually making knives is the best. This is only at 200 and it's a stick and a bronze bar, but we're looking at the exact same thing here for 100 coin more. So that's definitely a, a go. This does get me pause because it is at 600 and it is significant that we're doing two bronze bars, which puts us at about 315 per bronze bar and half a log per se. So it's great, it's really close to being better, but then it weighs more and it gets harder to haul and now it's two bronze bars per make rather than just one. So I still say it wins the day. Obviously the bronze arrows are a big winner and they'll be the ultimate one we go for in time. Bronze shears I was expecting to be the best because I believe historically that's the way you go is you go straight to making shears because they're super cheap, they don't weigh much and it's a bar and then you're done. But no, they're only worth 100. So. Not even close. All right, with that, the next things to continue doing are obviously building, questing, and making things happen. Wife is pregnant right now, so we'll have a child, I believe, in two more seasons. And there's that POI that I said I was going to build the Overwatch, the, um, the Whisper of the Winds at. Now, there's a bit of a problem here. It turns out, and you may have already known this, and if you did, awesome. That is good, I'm glad you knew. I, I found out before I started recording, I just wanted to do a little testing. I wanted to build the herbalist hut up here so we could have kind of like our local expert, our, our person who's our sage, our apothecarist, our person who's in charge of the healing, the village healing, and um, we'll say these people are of the old religion, so also speaking to the gods, we'll say. Now, from here, I can build this hut here. Now, if I go back a little bit, though, I can't place anything in here because it's restricted, it says. That also means that if I try to build any of the fencing or any of the decorations that I was planning on building into here, we got a little bit of a problem. I can't start building until I'm a little distance away in all directions. Now, it's not a long distance away, and honestly, I might end up just building up here anyway, and I might try to just reimagine that area here regardless. And then that just means I need to make the herbalist hut stand out somewhere up here. So that's still a part of the future planning, but unfortunately, just a tiny setback in the sense that now I know I can't just build straight up here. But it is a really pretty area, and I do want to continue to expand up to this area. Nice! There's just wonderful things going on in this little region. This is a nice home. There will be, of course, farmland going across here. And there will also be the main area of the village. We'll have this wrap around and then have a common area, either by the river or not. Still haven't fully decided on that. Now, interestingly enough, there was a little fishing um, 
kind of like setup down here and I thought that was a permanent feature I thought that that was just built into this region I was going to take advantage of it so that's not a thing we'll have to just put workstations up to accomplish the same task and then I'm going to do a thing where I want to actually have a forum area I'll show you that when I get there I made one in my valley playthrough and I really like it so we're going to make one here as well with that oh I really want to make the herbalist hut right up here I want to make this be an area for this person. I want it to be special. I want it to be considered like a sacred space. Too many even to build. This is restricted. We get we're so close on this one. I thought I got it to place, and then there we are. That was where it said it. We have this tree that's in the way, and unfortunately, it's got to go. Oops. I have my wooden shovel, but I never equipped it. With the plan, summertime, that is, the summertime plan. All right, more extraction. Now, usually I say, hey, you get a skill point, switch right to it right away, but I've already maxed out my skill gain at this point, so it's not a big deal. What matters now is that I'm going for carrying capacity. That's just it. I just want to be able to carry more stuff. Ah, wrong one. There we go. Using the stone axe because I like not wasting my iron axe's durability on stuff like that. All right, let's see what we can do here. It's so close. This is the restricted area. If I can just get... There it is. Now, is it going to be good enough, though? Like, here's the apothecary station. They would be walking to this zone. How close can we get? Because I do want to make a significantly sized garden for them around that herbalist hut. Obviously, I planned on doing stuff with the building, too, and adding features to it. I, you can by just dropping items and using that as a decoration strategy. For sure, that can be done. But I was really looking forward to putting the decorations all around it. I believe that we're just going to go for it. Yeah, we're going to go for it. We're just going for it. That being the case, I didn't bring any stones with me. I kind of just wanted to re-look at this when I started recording. I've already kind of thought about it before, but didn't commit to it. Now this is us committing to it. With the herbalist hut, we're going to need more people, right? I mean, at this point, the major concern I have is that I don't have enough villagers to accomplish all of the tasks that we have. So I think what might be a fruitful pursuit right now is do just a little bit of planning the village before we do our traditional. We did things around the village, and then we left and ran off to the village to do more things. This area, we have our workshop, and there's going to be a separation in here, and there's going to be a stall area so that there's a reason for why we have the workshop sitting here and kind of like front area spaces. I believe I'm going to put the seamster there, and then don't stand too close to that. That's a loaded weapon. What are you What are you doing back there? With that? Don't stand there. My, my lady, you... Oh, man. That's a dangerous place to stand. You don't even want... You don't want to be a part of what's going to happen back there. All right, the next thing I was looking at doing, and I don't want to lose the natural features that I enjoy here. Let's get it to here. Not too close to the water. Let's go like there. <laughs> You're going to be sniffing a lot of stuff back there for a little bit. I'll tell you what, that's going to smell horrible. Obstacles blocking the site. Dun, 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 Is it just that log? Ah! Okay. Okay, that's good. I don't mind this. A little bit of extra space back there for decoration. And here's what's going to happen with this one. This is the archer's area, and there's going to be a walkable area back here. There we go. We can walk back into here. This is going to have a series of targets, and it makes sense as the kind of target area. We've got our archer who crafts our bows and our weaponry for flying across fast distances. And I want to have it so that this is a practice area be a great practice area considering that you're aiming right here at the ground level obviously being careful not to fire up to our lady on the hill and I think that that'll make some sense we'll put some targets within the berry bushes and things like that to act as um, our people practicing ambush technique using the resources using the environment to their advantage and just practicing getting good shots Hey, if you're going to buy a good bow and if we're going to train our villagers to defend themselves, then they got to know how to do it. And we should be ready. I'm going to say our people are of the forest. That'll be, or at least our main character, and we'll start getting our village into that. Alright, y'all. 
it's time to move on. Or is it? Or is it? We have our smithy. Oh, that's the other thing to really consider. Give me a moment here. I just realized I want to know where I'm at for tech. Yeah, we're not far off, but we're definitely not there yet. So this is going to be a little close together, but I am interested in getting it started. I was really hoping not to lose that small tree. It's what it is. Okay, that'll do it. We have a lot of good things going on here. Now, I have her working. That's awesome. I'm going to need some stone. What I'm going to do in the rationale behind this is I'm going to gather stone by mining. The reason for it is that you get a ton more stone by doing mining than you do anything else. Gathering it off the ground is fine. There's some areas that have lots of it, but gathering out of the mines is significantly better. Since I just walked in here and I already have 24 stone, that's going to take care of all of my foundation work for each of those, and it'll give me leftovers that I can toss in the main storage. Now that we're making a lot of stone tools, that becomes a lot more relevant. In due time, we'll also start making some salted meats, but I've never really found those to be that worthwhile. It costs an awful lot of resources for not a lot of payoff. I may have to look back into it, and please do share thoughts on that if you found that salted meats actually pay off over time. I've noticed that it costs an awful lot of resources just to make the salted meats, and you don't get a lot of salt when you're in the mines. So the amount of resources it costs just to make a thing never seemed worth it overall. That's right. We're going to make it happen. We don't have our extraction shed in this region yet. So that's another piece of the puzzle that can be taken care of. A mine. Mm, can't wait. But it's what it is. It's not here yet. For now, we're just going to keep it simple, and we're just going to place it over here. There we are. And now it's time to get at those logs. I need to drop a lot of stone into here, since we are building so many things out of stone. Firewood is still doing fine. Logs are not there yet. I want to get that restored. Yeah, look at that. We have no rock, which means we aren't producing resources that require rock. So that's not a, that's not a great spot to be. We also don't need this tin ore sitting in the inventory, and this copper ore can go. That being the case, my goodness, I think it might be time for me to... We might need to... Oh, you know what we need to do. I know exactly what we need to do. We have somebody... She's a blacksmith right now, and she's making bronze hammers. I just did that as kind of a placeholder. So here she is. And she's in smithy number two. I don't want you working in smithy number two, I want you working in the new extraction shed. So I better get off my butt and get this extraction shed done. I want her getting resources that are more important to us at this given time. Such as all the stone we're missing. Since if we're hoping to be automating, if we're hoping to just have things happening as we go, we're not there yet. Because our stone is dropping like a stone. <laughs> Since we have so many things costing stone. Oh, the excavation shed is made out of woods. Or logs. Perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Four logs to go, let's say. That being the case, I did not need the sticks. Some more sticks is great. I'm done with the straw, although I can use it in other areas. Yes, so true. Sitting on some bronze bars, I think we might just unlock the arrows and make a bunch of them, and then we can sell them off in the village. We're going to move the goose hut over here, too. That's going to be another thing that's going to be worth doing. I'm going to make me gather up those last things. I'm going to make me gather up the sticks, since I don't want to cost sticks right now, seeing as we need so many sticks in these different production ventures. There we are. That's it. Now, as much as I love the fact that you are... Oh, there... 
I do love how I always pointed out that I never went with this lady. I kind of quit on her. She's like, she was, we didn't have, we weren't a good match. We just weren't, we weren't a good fit. Uh, and I didn't, you know, we, we, we tried it out. We, we, we went back and forth for a while. It was, it was looking okay. Uh, we found somebody better for her, let's just say, right? Uh, and then she's still in the village. So there's that entertaining awkwardness that could be happening all the time. There we are. Uberta. You are going to be our newest worker in the extraction shed, right here. Let's get you mining. And then let's talk about what things you're getting in this shed. What do we need? Pickaxes and shovels. Hmm. <laughs> get such a kick that they can get all that. Uh, we do need to have stone. And I can get stone faster than they can. But I also want it automated. So the reason why I'm doing this is that I want the process automated. I am going to do a bit of clay just because decorations are about to become important for that. And of course, the major thing I want done is I just want to start having limestone in the background. Let's make that our nice rounded out 10. And then let's assume that I'm not going to care as much for clay because I'm not going to care as much for clay, it turns out. So, there we go. That being the case, I do need some shovels because I don't want to just walk away without something useful being done. We'll have to also consider the fields. Yes, we'll also have to consider what's going on with the fields. Let's make five shovels. I do love that now you can finally craft a shovel. I don't know if you all remember this, but at one point way back in the past, you could not craft the wooden shovels. You either had to go buy them or you just had to... You had to have the right facility to make it. And I do believe it was a smithy or maybe it was a workshop that required it first. It was such a pain. Let's go like that. And then we're set. Now, there is not a whole lot of action that's going to happen in our fields right now. These are sitting on wheat, which means they'll rotate per season. This is sitting on flax, which means it's about to be done. Let's rotate you into cabbage. Hmm, I just realized I never planted onions. Is that true? Mm-hmm. It is true. I never planted onions. Hmm. That's just what it is. We did not make that happen this season, and it's fine. We're doing cabbage because cabbage can turn into rot. So that's fine by me. We are not going to have enough cabbage seed, just to make note. And we're also probably not going to have enough... Probably not going to have enough of our... Wait, do we have anything else from summer? No, we're just going for rye after this. It's probably going to be time for us to consider more fertilizer and probably more seed. Where are we at for cabbage seed? Oh, 85. All right, never mind. I take it back. It's also something to consider that we don't have a kitchen in this region, which will be an issue. Just got a notification about our farming. We're re missing a resource. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be fertilizer. And I have everybody working in that shed. Do I not have a single worker in the barn? And the answer is no. No, I do not have a single worker in the barn. All right. That being the case, who's our? I want to say weakest or best farmer, honestly, I probably want to choose somebody who's the best, since they will make resources faster. So let's do that. And then field work isn't faster based on their skill. I don't need you doing this. I need you making fertilizer on, on the fast side. Let's do that. Oops, I clicked on flower, but I actually mean to be aiming for fertilizer. We'll have you max this out as best we can. 10 fertilizer. Let's do 12. That seems like a nice even number. Nope, we don't have rot anywhere. Hmm. Then it, it's manure for you. And process the oat grain. Nah, that's something we'll just take care of. Let's get you going maxed as much as we can for this. I do still want them processing the flax now that we have more. Although, man, it's so much faster if I just do it. And that's going to be so universally true for just about everything in the game is that it's so much faster for you just to do the work. Interesting. You get 10 wheat grain per 7. 
you get 14. That's two to one. You get two rye grains per single rye versus wheat grains that you get almost. Hmm. That's going to have to be a cost-benefit analysis on this one, comparing wheat with rye. It's not going to matter too much in the sense that I'll still get the wheat anyway since it produces so much flour and it's got the off-season growth, which is key. All right. Uh, it's time to get going. Are we going to ride this donkey into town? Are we going to finally have... <laughs> oh, hey. Perfect. Dookie. Dookie, dookie, dookie. Do we need the duke? We're going to take the duke. And we're going to have more fertilizer. Yeah. Helpful. It is. I believe I said I was going to make bronze arrows. Did I not? Well, then I better do that. And I also better unlock the darn thing. Bronze arrows. Costs a bit. That's fine. Go get sticks. On it. We have so much building left to do. But it's early... Well, it's probably mid-morning, let's be real. Nope, it's already the afternoon. It's time to roll. It's time to get out of town and head out into the world and start those quests and finish those quests and get back here. We'll probably find more people while we're at it, too. We do already have some houses that we can toss people into. Let's make it happen. And then more things around here to get us making our village more lively. Bronze arrows are probably made where the anvil is, wouldn't you say? There we go. Only four, huh? I bet you only have 46 then. That's unfortunate. Yeah, 40 sticks indeed. Plenty more bars, just not enough sticks. Mm. Maybe I should have my people gathering more sticks. Probably should. Well, we have the bronze bars on us. Do we have any... Let's just make some hammers for sales. So we can take this stuff into town, make some cash while we're doing it. That's it? Only got a small amount of sticks out of that one. Forget about that. We get more. Alright, we'll make the hammers, then it's off to town. We'll call that donkey over so that we're getting ready to go. Bronze tools. So many hammers. This will help with our tech as well. In due time... We would be making lots of money on that. Let's go, donkey. Our fast, steady mount. Well, fast is, fast is perhaps not the word I would choose. But it's our mount. We're on our way. Let's go. I mean... I mean, we're traveling faster than we would on foot, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we gotta be. Yeah, we gotta be. Yeah. Hey, it doesn't feel like it, though. <laughs> it feels really slow. Can I fire my bow while I'm on donkey back? Nope. <laughs> Darn, that's too bad. <laughs> it's even mounted donkey combat. Uh, that'd be a funny thing. Our people have mastered the techniques of riding donkeys and firing things. Apparently, the Sumerians made use of donkeys for their carts, so, I mean, they could have a war donkey. War donkey. Alright, trusty steed. Eh, it's just logs and whatever. I don't need the logs, but I also don't not need the logs, right? And I've got a donkey. Donkey can carry a whole lot. Well, that's disappointing. Is that really all? You got some trees that you all felled over here. You left an axe by, uh, by, by chance? Hmm. Not so much. Oh, well. Onward we go. Mighty, mighty donkey. Might have to rename our donkey. I have a friend who has a donkey. And they named it, uh, they named it Roger. And it's a sweet, sweet animal. Helps out in the field a whole lot with the cow. Now, let's get ourselves into town and check that quest board. You can stay out here. Let's get on into town. Hmm. 
not sure if you're sweating from the sweet uh, the hard work or the heat. Yeah, true, true. All right, looking for a scythe. You're gonna cost me. I mean, I can make it. Yeah, whatever. Why not? A nice window. Oh, copper knives. That's a lot of coin. We can make that happen. Oh, another one of these with the torches and things. Oh, shoot. Witchcraft any. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Maybe Our Lady on the Hill is going to be a problem. Lots of copper arrows and bronze arrows. Dude. That's a lot of arrows to make. That's really resource costly. Not a huge fan of it. Get a lot of coin out of the deal, but... Mm, why not? It's doable. Alright, let's see how much a scythe costs if I buy it from you as the crafter of things. Are you kidding me? Is the day already done for y'all? Four o'clock and you people are closing up shop already? You gotta be kidding me. Is she up there? She not. Huh. It is what it is. How is life? Great friend. Those are pretty expensive. Cabbage seeds are not. I'm checking to see copper or eh, it's too much. I can just get that. Fertilizer is a thing. Manure. Yes. We have a lot of money. I don't like to be stuck without our resources. We'll throw all that on our donkey, obviously. Let's see here. A stack of 10 arrows is going to net us 132. So as we craft those, it's 132. And what, 86, huh? That being the case, the bronze arrows are not the go. So with the bronze arrows, one stack is going to net me 132. Bronze knife obviously is out of condition, so we're not going to worry about that. But this is 186. Yeah, that's that's where the money is at. Done. That's nice. That's real good money. We're sitting on real good money right now. we easy to unlock a lot of things. I'm buying fertilizer because I know I'm going to be a pinch behind schedule on that. There we are. This bronze scythe, it's going to cost me... Yeah, and I'd still have to unlock the schematic if I was gonna make it. I'm just gonna to make. I'm just gonna buy the scythe. I've got the capacity to do so. Done. Where's Derwin at? Yeah, you watch out for those Kamehameha kids, though. I'll tell you what, they're all over the dang place. Goodbye. There you go. Have yourself that thing. I have not got enough copper arrows and not enough bronze arrows. That's what I can do. Let's check on the other quests. Oh, that's gonna cost so much. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to check on torches. Ah! Watch where you're going, man. It's been less than two hours. We gotta check on torches. I know that I unlocked the schematic for it, but it costs a lot of leather, and I don't like the idea of wasting my leather on this. It costs 39. Wow, that's not not a small amount, and there's also not even enough. Hmm. Best goods in the red. Take care. Possible. Possible that they are the best, I'd say. Yep. Hello. All right, you. Let's talk about leather. It doesn't have to be awkward, friend. It doesn't have to be awkward. Huh. Well. Can I interest? Goodbye. You don't need nothing from me, man. We're good to go. All right. Let's go get us some peoples. Hey, bird. We're going to load up the donkey with the poo and the manure. A further fertilizer and the manure. Then. Might be taking a little trip with this guy here. All right, you. Time to load you up. A good name for a donkey could also be saddlebags. Quite literally. You just carry stuff. It's what you do, and you're good at it. Alright. Hmm. I'm not confident that the people over here are going to be worth getting. Let's get a ride. We are going. I've never looked at the village uh, recruitables in Skokia. <laughs> I just made it a different name. Sorry about that. Kalanika, oh, that's a long distance away. Hmm. Is it worth going there just so I can do the fertilizer thing? Because I could go up to Klonika and then I can head down to our village and then head home from there. And just do a quick assessment of what's going on in the main village, or the old river river village. I could probably get a little mining done while I'm there too since I see it needs so much copper. This seems to be a good go. Let's just head right way up to here. So the rationale behind this is we're going to come up here. Hey look, a quest. Let's go for it. 
We'll see who the recruitables are in town. One of the problems is I don't remember where the recruitable spa station is for this spot. Let's figure that out real quick. I think it's across the river. Honest work is the only suppose I could check and see what this quest is about. Although, once we start the dialogue about the quest, I don't even think we can stop it. How do you do? Something's troubling you. Your husband, after his accident, he started to act weird. Oh, did you get hit in the head? Yep, there you go. Talks about some game devils and NPCs, wherever they are. Uh-oh, he's unlocked the fourth wall. Okay. Oh, sorry. I guess I ran into somebody. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Reading the description, yep. Read about how he's, he, the fourth wall is crumbling. Yep, that's funny. That's what I was just thinking as well. It's like, ooh, poor guy. Don't worry. Just because you're an NPC doesn't mean anything. Keep in mind that means you're immortal. I'm pretty sure you can't die as long as your quests don't ever end. All right. Oh, the player character. <laughs> Uh, so you become self-aware, what quest do you have? Who would waste time listening to the problems of a minor NPC who's waiting his whole life for this quest? It's probably the only interesting thing that will ever happen to him. Uh, their player is more focused on this quest. Maybe, but it still hurts. Oh, you poor guy. Sure, whatever. Should I make you bring me something or decimate the population of a local fauna? Hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Uh, no, not license. Um, to put on my damn head. So what are you interested in? You need a reward? So wheel or Wyson? You choose either both. I don't care. Just go away. I can't look at you any longer. Oh. Yeah, ticks do love you, friend. Find the Wyson and get a wooden wheel? You're killing me, man. Do you know? Do you know how this game has gone with me and Wyson? Do you know how it's been with these creatures? They, they're ready for me. I'm pretty sure they seek me out. They see me coming and they're just like, mm, and they're on me. I'm doomed. You just doomed me. I suppose that's the point. You're hoping to become the uh, the PC. Ain't gonna happen. I'm out of here. Okay. Get sticks. We need lots of sticks. Arrows. All right. Get my bearings. Make myself remember what I was doing so that I don't make a silly mistake on the way. Cause I am going to hunt a Wyscent, and I also need to get a wooden wheel. Hmm. Wooden wheel is gonna be a little dicier. Unless somebody in town actually sells it, that'd be kind of comical. That I'd walk all the way away, and there'd be the opportunity to buy from this person and make it. Do they show me the vendors in town if I do this? Nay, nay, I say. It is what it is. The Wyscent can be hunted any time, though. Oh, Wyscent, you gotta be kidding me. This is gonna be rough. I mean, like, rough. I think I should have brought spears or something. Am I gonna die? <laughs> this is gonna be so rough. Uh, Alright, do we... I'm not stalling for time and being hesitant because I know that Wysent are huge and fly right at me and are probably going to eat me alive and that there's no terrain advantage to take advantage of anywhere around here. That it's going to be nothing but flat terrain and a large massive or massive creature running full speed at me, deciding to gore me with its horns. Yeah, no, there's none of that going on. There's none of that going on here. All right. Well, enough obnoxious anxiety on this. The wooden wheel thing does get me wondering if I have somebody in town I can buy from. They'd be a workshop worker. Oh, that's right. There is a workshop guy in town. All right. Let's see if that's a solvable problem first off. And then we'll go off for the Wyscent after that. Boing. Just in case. If I already have the ability to get the wheel done, let's do that. Boing. Hey, I like the organization here. Ah. Yep. Hey, yep. Perfect. You do make wooden wheels. And another client. It was nice. Um, yes, sir. Uh, it was nice seeing you as well. Recruitables. Dodge. I don't think that was as deft as I pretended. Oops, too much, too much running. I need people who have massive amounts of fishing skill. You people are just not it. I mean, how, you must be. Hmm. 
ahead, of course. You're doing good on diplomacy. I need Hello you. Creating a new settlement, looking for good people. See ya. <laughs> a lot of ladies to recruit here, so it'll be good for... Wow, all ladies in this town. Twins? Wait a minute, How's what? 29. Take care. Hello there. 28. Oh, eh, so only a year apart. We'll say that they're sisters. It'd be entertaining to take a mid of the village based on that. Just because be like, whoa, sisters. You actually... Oh, do I have enough houses, though? You? Oh, wait, but... Eh, okay, we'll think about it. Yeah, Lucky I know, right? Bastards. You got diplomacy, too, and hunting. Alright. Oh, um, new villager, let's get you somewhere. You got a long walk ahead of you, I'm so sorry. Now, back into the new valley area. Ah, fine, right there. Great. You are on it. Alright, it became later in the day. It is time to hunt the y -Sent. It's time to just... It's time to make it happen. Alrighty, fresh dip in the water. Did I notice any huntables in this area? I wonder if there are y -Sent this way. Let's give it a shot. It would be convenient if it was right next door. Then I'd have less running to do. Do, 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 do. I do see... I like this area. I like what they did with it. It makes sense. Things around here make sense. Well organized. Pretty. See a POI ahead. That's... Why not? Let's go for it. Moose. No. Not not the... Not the go-to. Not the... Not the one. Huh. Nothing but flat terrain for us to get gored on. Oh, I tell you what... Say, wait a minute, there's buildings way out there. Are you... Oh, just fishing spears, darn it. Well, it's still, it's fishing spears, and fishing spears are still something. Oh, these aren't interactables? Oh, darn, that's too bad. I was really hoping that I could interact with that. Nice fishing spot, cool. Yeah, shoot, can't interact with any of that. Tell me more about these buildings up ahead. Are there going to be bandits in those buildings? I'm almost guaranteed yes with that. Hmm. Is there a lot going on up here? Hmm, no. There's a whole lot of blown over rooftops. Looks to be a scarecrow with weapons in his hand. With a target and weapons. Yeah, this is a bandit area. Oh yeah, see? Assuredly. Music change. No immediate targets to face. Yeah, okay. Nothing in here, though. Huh, interesting. Looks like somebody hid out here for a final conflict that doesn't... It probably didn't go well, because if you're cornered to that degree and they're still coming for you, all they need is a pokey pokey spear, and then they kind of pokey pokey poke you. Hmm. This chest I can't get yet. There's a longbow up there. And that's fine. Hmm, interesting. Beds, stuff. Any underground stuff? No. No, not really. Let's go up here and see if there's anything useful up on top. Hmm, not much. Not much, and uh, not much at all. Oh, did I just barely make it? Are we not hardcore parkour? Just minorly parkour. Make it! Nope. At least I thought so. Alright. So we're not hardcore parkour. Sure enough, let's go this way then. Wait, did I just point myself the wrong way? Alright, we're going this way. Will there be Wysent? That's the question. I probably could be riding the donkey now to save just a pinch of time. But I also don't want to lose my donkey to a Wysen. I'm pretty sure we might lose me to a Wysen, so let's not put the donkey on top of that too. Wysen have been the bane of my existence at the start of the game here. That's for sure. Deer? Deer would be worth hunting. I want more leather, that's for sure. Oh, there it is. Okay. <sighs> yep. Okie dokie. 
There's one right now. <laughs> uh, so doomed. Yeah, like, oh, cape. Okay. I'm so doomed. All right, check the terrain. Check for hideout areas I can jump on, stones from, and that they can't get on top of. I'm not seeing a whole lot of areas that I can guard myself. Yep. And we're going to go for... Oh, you kidding me? That was only three arrows? Wait a minute. Have I been too nervous about this? Where are we at? I hear somebody talking. Actually, I hear music changing. Let's skin it and go. Perfect. Lots of leather, lots of meat. So... Hmm. Now that that went all right... Now I'm starting to get greedy. Whoa! Running! It's not going to go as well if they get the drop on me, that's for sure. So let's not take chances, given the fact that they got the drop on me that time. That won't work out in my favor. Huh. That's a lot of leather. And that was not as bad as I thought. Looks like I've been just too anxious about hunting these things. You get a few headshots in and you're good to go. Of course, I also have a recurve bow and bronze arrows now, so that's 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 pretty good. That's gonna help out a bit. Using that first bow I had and stone arrows, <laughs> my guy was gonna get launched into the air from Wysant hits. I just know it. Well, I guess our our fear was well placed in the early game, but now, a kidding me? All right. see here. Are they still chasing me down? I think I get a little bit of benefit of the doubt for if you walk away, they'll calm down. All right, well, here I am thinking about hunting Wysant, and unfortunately, as much as that's a good thought, just looked at my carrying capacity, I looked at how much weight I'm carrying, that's not actually the best idea. Given that's the case, okay, let's go. Let's go to the riverfront village. Let us ride the donkey donkey. Onward we go. And we'll run past Wysant. Shooting arrows from the back of our trusty steed. Big quote marks on steed. Well, that was pretty good, I'd say. We got a wheel and we got a Wysent. That poor NPC, it's, I've, I've completed his quest. I'm sure he's probably got another quest for me and he'll just be like, whatever, man, I'm sending you on all the quests. I'm sure this will probably take most of the season and it'll be pretty comical. Onward we go. Eh, I want to hunt more deer. I want to get more leather. Oh, donkey's getting tired. I want to hunt more deer. I do get more leather, get more meat, but... I don't know. I think right now we're doing pretty well. Hmm. And now, between Bear and between Wysant, there might be a whole lot of future hunting of large-scale animals for me. I might have to start hunting moose, too. And the amount of resources you get, it's just worth it. And with a lot stronger bow and arrows that are worth actually talking about, Hmm, it might just have to happen. There we go. Gotta gather up some loot. Berries, not worth it. Berry wine, worth it. Wicker basket? Oh, open it. Yep, you got it. See, look at that. Salted meat. Mm-hmm. I would rather just find the salted meat than make... It... Dude, excuse you. I would rather just find the, uh... <laughs> Donkey's dropping some, dropping some toots over here. I would rather just find the salted meat, in all honesty, since it costs so darn much as resources go for it. Here we are, back at the old village. Hmm. Didn't get as much in done in the day as expected. Was definitely hoping to actually do some building around the home in the new village, but we had a lot of entertainment, that's for sure. It's already the end of the day, so I suppose I should wrap it up. 
And from here, y'all, it's just going to be me. Uh, what am I going to do next? Well, we drop the meat inside the food storage, which is a thing that doesn't exist at the new village yet, which is a problem. We're about to lose our torch. And yeah, I'm putting those berries in here for now. The only reason I'm putting them in there for now is just so it's done. Just so it's done. I won't actually use the berries. They're going to end up going to the compost bin so that they turn straight into compost for us. Rot. Good thing we have lots of fishing spears, right? So what's going to happen with the rest of this night is I'm going to go into the mine that's right here. I'm going to get a bunch of copper so I can make the last bits of the arrows for our quest line. And since we have a lot of leather, it's also going to be making the torches. So essentially all I'm going to do is do that and then I'll craft out that uh, fertilizer as well. So thank you. I'm grateful for having you here. Thanks for joining me again today and another wonderful day in the Oxbow. Take care of yourselves. See you next time around.